Okay, right, ready for the next step now. So we are going to take the metal plate. Now bear in mind these are handed, so that you'll get two plates, and obviously this little cutout slot, if I go above here, I'll get the light right, there you go, you've got that little cutout slot, needs to line up with the, the mechanism there, so and make sure you get that the, right. the middle of the car. Yeah, that's, that's the middle of the car, yeah, handbrakes here, and you can see we've got the cutouts here. So it's specifically made plate that we've had produced, so we're going to put those back to that had the big thingy parts, the big rubbery bits in there. So we'll have to see how the... Did you look at the videos we did yesterday, in under our new LED light? So how... They're not too flickery, I don't think, are they? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. It's back at the workshop. Right. So we'll get those... One, two... It's just a case of popping them all in. All in. Right, we'll get them and do that. You don't need to watch us do that. So although we've built all this subframe up now, if you're going to use the seatbelt pretensioner, we'll need to fit this bracket that we took off earlier in the video. So we're just going to do that quickly. So we're just going to just whip those two bolts out at the back again. Obviously we should have done that in the correct order, but we've done it so you can, if you're putting a harness seatbelt, you can choose to fit that or not. So we'll undo those and bolt that in. Okay, there we go, we've got those lined up. We've got that bolted on. Right, and the next thing we need to do now is to bolt this subframe up to the underside of the seat. So we flip the seat over here, make sure you put some cardboard down. Um, and let's have a look at the bolts we're going to use in. So we've got these um, M8 cap head bolts, um, four of those, all the same. They're going to go into these holes, these metal studs that are prefixed into the, the base of the seats. And we do have a heated seat option. If you're fitting the heated seats, you have to pull this little layer under here because the heated so the wiring's back. hidden under the back of the seat. Oh, there you go, it's Velcro at the back, and yeah, and you'll find the wiring in there, so you want to do that at this stage, because you won't get it out. A little tip if you're going to get to go for the heated seats. Right. And you want to get all four of these in, don't do the first one too tight, because you'll, you won't give yourself any wiggle room on the next ones then. You got that in? Well, That's it. Just one in each corner. Alright, we'll get those all four in, we'll get those tight, and then we'll come back and I guess we'll be lifting the seat into the car then, won't we? Yep. Yeah, we'll get those, those all done. Right, we're nearly there. If there's anyone still watching the video, I've got no idea, but hello if you are. Right, you, we're going to bolt the seat into the car now. We're going to use the original bolts to hold the original seat in. We've just slid the two runners up a little bit um, and we're just bolting on the pretensioner. Again that's got that's bolting on the original bracket. We've got that big, what was that? He was big on he? T50, T50 that one. And then you can just run the wire through. You should squeeze through that hole. Oh, we've got a little hole in the plate for him. Yeah. yeah. Squeeze through and get it to Somewhere near the middle, middle of the seat. Yeah. We'll be fine. Top the excess behind there. Down right there, and that's ready to go then. Bolt that up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's just a case of Right, so we're going to bolt that, and then we'll we'll join you again, and we'll be in the car ready to bolt them in. Okay, there we go. We're lifting it in. So, and a note: we will. The battery is disconnected because you don't want to get your airbag light going wrong. I'm going to jump around the other side in. Let's spin around here and see how he's doing there. <laughs> so, yeah, that's where we put the resistor. Um, see our other video to bypass the side airbag sensor. So we've, we've soldered that and covered that all up. At so we, point we can fish out that. We can fish out that thing before we get pooped. Blue connector. Yep. So that's that all done. That's all the wiring done. Tuck that away underneath. Right, let me grab that work like that, Jim, and then we can see what we're doing. I don't think we need to, to overcomplicate this video of bolting the thing back in. But yeah, you can see Four now. Four bolts, down through your runners. And then what you do is slide the do seat the front forward. Two, slide it all the way forward. And do the back two. clear access to the back two. Right, we'll finish nice that. And, and then we'll come back and show you what the seats look like. So a little demo video. Sorry about the wind. Of our bucket style seats we fitted in the B3 
BMW Mini. So these are the ones, we've done the video, they come complete with a, a subframe mounting kit. They reuse the original factory sliders, they reuse the original seat belts, um, they slide. So you've got the original BMW, they slide real easy backwards and forwards. 